Hi Paul, so this is the video scribe that I mentioned in my email and um, my thought is that I'm going to create this for the students just to give them a kind of overview of how we might think of organisations in metaphorical terms so as machines or organisms or brains um, and introduce that whole notion of metaphor to them relatively early on. Uh, as a way of seeing things more clearly, so giving you some clarity over what kind of organisation you might be working in, but also the way in which metaphor might distort how we see an organisation and only allow us to see it in a particular way. And I was going to introduce them to what I think, uh, as I get my head around this, is a relatively seminal text by Morgan as a sort of starting point that we can then critique later. So what I was thinking I would do was to use this kind of video to take them through each of Morgan's metaphors. So um, what I'll do when I'm making this properly is that I'll talk over each of these different images for an organisation and give them a little bit more detail. And at the moment I'm kind of halfway through creating this so I've been choosing images uh, that represent each of those metaphors. So the notion of a machine, organization as an organism, as a brain, um, as a culture, as a political system, as a psychic prison, as a flux and transformation or as um, an instrument of domination. So what I would do is to explore each of those in a little bit more detail and at the moment all I've got is the machine and the organism ones and so I, I'm kind of beginning to explore that. I don't want to do it in a great deal of detail, it's just going to be an introductory overview. So for example for the machine I'll be saying things along the line of the idea is that you've got interconnecting systems, uh, bureaucratic systems, processes, they sometimes dehumanise people but it's a classic mainstream concept that works well in organisations that are highly mechanised and also that uh, operate globally and that are looking for ways to operate economically and efficiently so very brief kind of introduction to that and then the second one that I've, I've done this is the last one I've done at the moment is the notion of an organism um, uh, or an organization as an organism that's got particular needs that needs to slot into a particular environment that might have a particular life cycle of development some challenges that might come along uh, that threaten the organization and that organizations evolve over time so so that's what I'm looking at I'm wondering